Hello, welcome to another better world in my channel. Take a to look at Catching Fire vs. Battle Eye 2 Reckon. Yes, I need the sequels to The Hunger Games and Battle Royale. Why, you may ask? Because I feel like it, and because the similarities is that they have another game that is a little bit different from the first one. So, topic number one are going to be storyline. Catch a Fire is set, I think it's some months after the first one. Can't remember exactly how long it was. Uh, essentially, they are living a decent life because they are now rich, essentially, because of the, their victory in the games. Uh, Katniss and Peter and etc. Later on they, they realize or they get the information that they are going to be in the quarter, quarter games, which is essentially the 7th, 5th Hunger Games, essentially. Every 10th to 5th year or game they have a special competition. Th this time all the wi winners or Oh yeah, all the winners essentially are going back into the contest. One girl and one boy or man and woman from each district. They aren't happy about it, nobody is happy about it from any of the districts. They try to start an alliance and etc. They succeed a little bit because of Hamish and etc. etc. They go into the contest. It is, looks, at the first glance it looks somewhat similar, but after a while they realize it is a little bit more compact of an arena and every hour something different happens in some different regions. <coughs> oh, later on they try, suddenly she starts to realize something, and is that the alliances that she had have actually been made up by Hamish and the other contestants, essentially, that she are actually in alliance with. They essentially are trying to do a rebellion against the capital and so on and so on. In the end, they get out, at least Katniss and so on. Some guys from, I think it was, this is 3, 4, I can't remember if it was more than that, at least not that many. She isn't happy because Peter wasn't there and it essentially ends. In Battle Royale 2, Reckon, it, it is time it is 3 years from the first, from the first movie. Uh, the differentiation isn't that big when it comes to how they choose characters. It is a school class. The differentiation for the first movie is that it is a school class of outsiders and people that have their family, their parents' deaths, essentially. They, they are going into this, let's call it game again, but the the thing that is different this time is that instead of them killing each other, they are going up against a terrorist, terrorist organization that you figure out that they actually killed their parents and etc. This is all set on an island. They go on, they fight, etc. etc. In the end, they start a rebellion against governments and other adults and you will see them in the end happy and going out in the distance I think it was in a desert or something like that both movies in my opinion are have an interesting plot uh, yeah, Catching Fire in my opinion have a little bit of an edge because it stands out a little bit more and, and not that it stands out more it is uh, more consistent with the first movie and have a better red line. Uh, better 
reckon it's a bit, little bit silly in my opinion when it comes to Ashley's storyline. It is a full out war with children against a terrorist organization. It is weird, stupid, but it is interesting to watch and fun at the same time. But the, the winner of this topic are going to be Catching Fire. Mainly because it stands out more because it has it fits better together with the first movie, in my opinion. Topic number two are going to be let's see environments. If it's environments, as usual, energy. If it's environments in both movies are excellent, in my opinion. It doesn't stand not it isn't that much that stands out from each of one, uh, but there are all who Rickham, of course, have a small budget and doesn't have the grand scheme of effects that Catching Fire can muster. And because of that, it doesn't stand out as much, but even if the effects are amazing and the environments are cool, it can't. Uh, it doesn't stand out as much as Catching Fire, which is the winner of this topic. One of the main points in my opinion is the big island they have in the arena that actually can uh, spin around which I thought was a cool effect and looked amazing in my opinion. Topic number three are going to be well let's say the arena stuff. When it comes to the arena effects and and the, the stuff that happens in the arenas or battle areas. There are a lot of ha things happening in Catch a Fire, but it doesn't really stand out, stand out as much as it does in Battle Royale. Battle Royale have always had a better, in my opinion, action when it comes to the battlefield. And when they go against each other and fight and in a full out war, it is more interesting to watch. Battle Royale, in my opinion. Because of that, the winner of this topic are going to be Battle Royale 2 Reckon. And the final topic are going to be acting or characters. The acting are interesting and good in Catch a Fire, but Battle Royale 2 have a, a small edge on them, mainly because the emotions are amazing in the actors and actresses. They give the best emotions. Um, I'm sorry for saying that but, but the peop Japanese people know how to act and how to make everything. It isn't that <coughs> the people in the Fire isn't that good. They are good and they are actually excellent. But I think the Japanese people or actors and actresses have a more can give more emotion and more feelings and more facial expressions than they do in the American movies. So because of that, the winner of the topic are going to be Patrol to Reckon. And now this will be a little bit hard because both movies have their up and downs, and choosing the ultimate winner will are a little bit tough in my opinion because I. I like both movies a lot, but the one that edges out mainly because it had everything the other one has, but plus a little bit more. It is the other winner, Catching Fire. Catching Fire, in my opinion, have better effects, environments, and a better storyline that that's connects better with the first movie. They have good act thing and actors but of course better I reckon takes a little bit more have a little bit more of an edge there but they still stands out enough to make them it an, an amazing movie. The same can be said about the things that happen in the arena, even though Better I too reckon stands out a little bit more because they the choreography the choreography and the action is amazing in that movie, but it is also really good in Catch a Fire. And because of that, it was because it was so even in those two topics, and Catch a Fire is standing out a bit more in the first two. Catch a Fire won this 
video. And that's all for today, folks. Hope to see you next time.